today is a private finance day at COP21. Uh, we're going to be hearing from a lot of actors from the private finance sector and how they are preparing to move towards uh, shifting investments to low carbon and resilience um, and building all the commitments that they have been bringing out over the year. So, shifting investments from high carbon, high risk towards low carbon and resilience is absolutely critical. Um, to be able to uh, secure a two degrees world and make sure we are all building resilience. And this is a key issue for the private sector can, can and must help. And this has been understood by many parties in the convention and this is why this is being reflected in the text at the moment. However, few countries um, have been really opposing this kind of uh, progressive and really need a language. So we saw yesterday South Arabia, Kuwait, um, and Argentina opposing any language in the test that will uh, refer to shifting high carbon investments. And unfortunately, we have also seen China uh, supporting this kind of opposition, which is very contradictory to what we have been hearing from President Xi on um, supporting a green uh, uh, economy, sustainable uh, investments, and making sure that Chinese investments actually nationally and internationally are shifting towards low carbon and phasing out fossil uh, uh, fuels. So um, we keep an eye on that and we hope um, uh, countries keep on the fight and make sure that uh, the agreement reflects the need that all investments need to be shifted in order to be able to have a two degrees hope.